Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Prishan Sujika for my returning subscribers and for new subscribers and for those of you who are just clicking in for the very first time to watch any of my videos at all. Thank you guys for clicking in to watch this video and you are very welcome. Uh, from the title of the video, you can already tell what today's video is. Just brow. But I am out of anything to use to grow my brows so I decided to just, you know, work with it and try to make it work really. Uh, I know I've been gone from YouTube for a while now and I have like a reasonable explanation, I promise. I do have a reasonable explanation but I'm not going to bore you guys with that now. Brow and eyeliner are my favorite things to do but I rather, I think my brow is my favorite favorite. Like I can't do without my brow basically. I can basically just draw my brow and go out but I can do without eyeliner and stuff. So yeah, uh, without, I do not want to bore you guys, I do not want to make this video longer than it's supposed to be. Guys, thank you for clicking to watch this video, but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you have subscribed, thank you very much for being very fit fun. Thank you for all the love, love that you've been showing me, you know. <laughs> Anyways, and for new subscribers, people that are just clicking in, I promise, I know I've not been doing well in the past. I promise I'm going to be better basically so yeah and i hope you guys are staying safe at home that is the most important thing i hope you guys are staying safe at home so without further ado let's just jump right into the video anyways starting off with a freshly washed and moisturized face uh, i'm just going to quickly show you guys what i'm going to be using for this video so this is my tinted brow mascara by NYX. Uh, I have my two concealer brush. This is a circular concealer brush and this is a precision concealer brush. And I've got both of them from Primark. Uh, I'm using the Air Woman brow pens. Uh, this is my Zaron concealer that I'm going to be using. So you want to brush your hair in like an upward motion. Or in direction in which they are going but i like to do this upwards and then drag it down drag it down and do the same thing for the other side so this is why we need our concealer for cleanup because as you can see i already messed this part up so i'm just going to repeat the same step here So just going in with short light strokes under my brow, I'm going to do that and follow the natural line of my brow. So when I'm cleaning up, it's going to, you know, be easy and I'll know what I'm doing and I don't mess it up. And I'll just go ahead and fill the sparse area under. And also doing the same thing on the top part of my brow, just filling it in lightly, try to make it look as natural as possible and to cover up all the spaces in it. Okay, what I'm going to do next is to fill in the sparse area with the pencil just lightly. So, there you go. I'm going to quickly repeat the same step on the other brow. I know they look huge and <coughs> messy but don't worry we'll, fi we'll fix it we will fix it okay so here i'm just using my spoolie to try to reduce the product or to spread it out uh, because you want your brows to look natural and light not too dark and thick so there you have it next i will be taking my concealer And I do the same thing for this. I place my hand somewhere steady so I don't, you know, mess it up. Even if most times I actually <laughs> end up messing my brow and then I have to go over and draw it all over again. But I'm going to try my best to be careful. I'm 
repeating the same thing on the bottom on the other side rather since i got this brush it has become my favorite concealer brush because of the angle because of the way it's shaped i just find it like really easy to use i think that's really great i feel like this is a this is definitely like <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, I definitely, definitely would suggest this brush to beginners or people who are just learning how to do their brows basically because this brush is great. It is easy to use. I'm going over the top of my brow with my foundation because I don't think I have a concealer that is my exact skin tone. And I like for the top of my brow to blend very well with my foundation. Repeating the same thing, I'm doing it slowly and carefully with the short strokes because I, I know I can get very clumsy when I'm doing my brows, especially when I'm trying to correct it. So I try my best to go slow and steady. Like this is what takes the most of my time when I'm doing my brow. See what I'm saying? Can you see that? <laughs> There's nothing that cannot be fixed. So yeah, that is basically all I do and when I'm done, I go in with my brow gel again and try to lay all the hairs down, keep them in place, you know. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and cover up all this, you know. So yeah, everything is covered now and I hope it looks better. I didn't do any eyeliner because really. I'm not going anywhere. That is for this video. That is how I do my brow. I don't really do anything special. Uh, I either use a brow pencil or a brow pomade or a brow gel, whatever you want to call it, to do my brow. And yeah, I just fill in my brow, conceal or correct my brow. And yeah. But um, the one thing I would like to ask is I just want to get you guys' opinion on this issue so basically that's which do you prefer doing your brows before your foundation or foundation before brows because i find that some people prefer to um do their skin work okay. just like to do their brows first and then you know get that out of the way and do other things so i would like to know which personally don't have like a preference i just go with the flow whichever one comes to mind first or whichever one i remember to do first i do so yeah uh, that is it for this video guys these are my brows i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and until next time guys